Once upon a time, there was a renowned Zen master who lived in a small village. People from far and wide would come to seek his guidance and wisdom. One day, a man from a neighboring village arrived, filled with anger and resentment towards the Zen master. The man stormed into the Zen master's house and began hurling insults at him. He accused the Zen master of being a fraud, a charlatan who deceived people with empty words. He called him names and questioned his intelligence and character. Throughout the whole tirade, the Zen master sat calmly, listening attentively to each insult without showing any signs of anger or annoyance. When the man finally finished venting his anger, he looked at the Zen master, waiting for a response. The Zen master smiled warmly and said, Thank you for your gift. Confused, the man replied, Gift. I just insulted you. How can you call it a gift? The Zen master explained, Imagine someone offers you a gift, but you choose not to accept it. To whom does the gift belong? The man pondered the question for a moment and replied, Well, if I don't accept it, then the gift remains with the person who offered it. The Zen master nodded approvingly and said, Exactly. In the same way, you came here today with anger and insults, but I chose not to accept them. Therefore, the anger and insults remain with you. The man's face softened as he realized the wisdom in the Zen master's words. He felt a sense of gratitude towards the Zen master for teaching him such an important lesson. With a newfound understanding, he bowed to the Zen master and left the house. From that day forward, the man's attitude changed. He learned the power of non-reactivity and realized that by choosing not to engage in negativity, he could avoid unnecessary suffering. He became more mindful of his words and actions, striving to spread kindness and understanding wherever he went. The gift of insults reminds us that we have the power to choose how we respond to difficult situations. By remaining calm and non-reactive, we can transform negativity into an opportunity for growth and understanding.